danger. As a matter of fact, they're endangered species. But I'm here to help. <laughs> what do you mean we're endangered species? We're not endangered species. We're Timon and Pumba, you mook. Well, I've never heard of you, and if I've never heard of you, you must be rare. And if you're rare, you must be endangered. And if you're endangered, then I'm here to help. I'll keep you safe behind the electrified fence of this beautiful animal sanctuary. <laughs> safe! Yay! What do you mean, yay? We're trapped in here. I mean, good. And who exactly are you? Who, 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 who am I? I am Mr. Happy. And you know why I'm so happy, huh, small boy? Because I'm an environmentally aware biologist. That's fancy talk for ecology's happy helper. <laughs> well, I've never heard of you. And if I've never heard of you, you must be rare. And if you're rare, you must be endangered. So you'd better get to some sort of biologist sanctuary and fast. Gracious me! You're right! I'm practically extinct! <laughs> ah, what a mook! Come on, Pumba, let's get out of here. Okay, got it! Ouch, ouch. Boy, Timon, you must have the biggest brain in the world. Ah, uh, 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 universe. Contact! Paddle, Pumba, paddle as fast as you can, my bacon buddy. Ah, uh, Timon, I don't think we're gonna make it. Just keep pedaling. Ouch, ouch. was correct. I like being safe behind a giant electrified fence. I think maybe we should stay. You're delirious. I mean, how can you possibly feel safe here? We can't go anywhere we want or do what we want or nothing. I hate it with all my guilt. are about to hate it some more. Why, you biscuit eater, I didn't find one biologist sanctuary. And you know why, Buster Brown? Cause darn it, there aren't any. Well, duh, Louie, you big doofus. No, duh. I just wanted to get rid of you. I, I mean, uh, oh, that's too bad, pal. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Why are you guys so mean to Mr. Happy? I just want to be ecology's happy helper. And I want to help you boys. <laughs> I, I, I... 
Stop, stop that quivering lip there, Pumba. There's no way we're staying. No matter what he says. Forget it. Uh-uh. End the story. Oh, wait, but wait, but wait. I went and built tennis courts, an ice skating rink, a swimming pool, a full-service house spa, and a smorgasbord of gourmet insects freeze-dried and flown in daily from Copenhagen. Yeah, <laughs> I... Copenhagen. Oh, Timon, he's right. All that stuff is right over there. If we only turned our heads earlier, we would have seen it. Timon? Hallelujah. Boy, Pumba, you were right about staying here. I mean, this place has got everything. Just look at this path. It's well manicured. It's got relaxing piped-in music. It's even got Yanni. And best of all, you don't even have to hunt for bugs. You just... And presto, a tasty morsel of insectitude appears at your fingertips. Did someone call for buggage? Hi. Same. Simone, I don't like freeze-dried gourmet bugs from Copenhagen. I want plain old on the ground bugs from Jersey. No problem, pal. There's bound to be some Jersey ground bugs hidden around here somewhere. Oh, no, no. Only freeze-dried, cowboy. I try. And this path isn't any great shakes either, Timon. Out in the real world, the paths just go on and on and on. Kinda like you. And on! But look! Black! Bats! We can't go any further! We're trapped! Trapped like animal! I am not an animal! Pumba, we are animals! And so what if we're trapped? We'll never run out of things to do. Look! It's the never-ending book of things to do at the Animal Sanctuary. It's chock full of downright funness. I want to leave right now. And I want to stay. Well, I want to leave times infinity. And I want to stay times infinity plus one. I want to leave times infinity plus two. Pumba, there's no such number. And we're staying until I've done everything in the never-ending book of things to do, and that's final. <laughs> Not only have I done everything, I've done everything 500 times. I'm sick of doing everything. I want to go back to doing nothing. For crying out loud, let's get out of here already! Yay! And I've got a great plan for getting us out of here, too! Really? You? A great plan? Yeah, Timon! It's a really, really great, great plan! I've been working on it for 28 years, and it's really great! Well, what is it? We... Tunnel out! That's it? We tunnel out? 28 years and you come up with we tunnel out? Why, that's the most ridiculous... Hey, I know. We could tunnel out. Uh-oh. What about Mr. Happy? He'll try to stop us. Wait. Mr. Happy will try to stop us. Oh, maybe we could cleverly distract him. Nah, that won't work. some clever way to distract him. Great! And then we'll dig our way out while he's busy. And then we'll dig our way out while he's busy. <laughs> Funky town, here we come! Yay! My buddy Timon is the smartest meerkat ever! Boy, Yola! Uh, I don't understand what it's supposed to be, Timon. Wow! A perfect light 
I guess I forgot to check my calendar. Is it scare the hairs off the meerkat day? Oh, we were just having some fun. Yeah, well, do you mind pointing those things in another direction? You're gonna poke somebody's eyes out over here. <gasps> Whatever you say, Timon. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. when's he ever gonna act his age? Like some weird kind of shrub. That's no shrub, Pomba. That's what your insides look like without your outsides on them. But what are these insides doing without their outsides? <laughs> Haven't you heard? There's a predator on the loose. None of us are safe. <laughs> Maybe you aren't, but we are. Yeah, we've got him on our side. <laughs> A lion. A lion? What's wrong with you two? Have you got bugs for brains? He must be the guy who ate that guy. <laughs> Your friend, he must be the predator. Simba? You've got to get away from him, or I assure you, he will eat you in your sleep. He will, I tell you, he will. Simba? Eat us in our sleep. Boom. 
Simba, I haven't slept a wink. The little monkey thing was right. Simba is the meat-eating predator on the loose. What the moon? Simba eats bugs, not meat. Come on, Pumba. Look at him. He didn't get that big eating ladybugs and butterflies. I bet he's been sneaking some antelopes on the side. But I'm big, and I only eat bugs. Uh, that's genetic. You were born big-boned. This is true, but I still say he eats bugs. Just bugs, and I mean only bugs. Well then, there's only one way we can find out. Ask him? No, look through his personal belongings without him knowing. And that means we gotta get him out of here. <sighs> hey, guys. Hi, Simba. Hey, did you hear? There's a free pancake breakfast down by the watering hole. A pancake breakfast in the jungle? But you better hurry, because, uh, well, they're running out of maple syrup. Oh, well, okay. Oh, that's not very nice, Timon. We can't just lie to Simba and invade his privacy. He's our friend. We should trust him. Hey, I trust Simba. It's just the carnivorous urges innate to his species that I don't trust. Well, I trust him, and that's that. Oh, yeah? Then what's this? Uh, well, that's a bowl, Timon. A commonplace, multi-purpose, hemispherical container. <laughs> and it's just my size. Perfect for baking a meerkat meatloaf. <laughs> and look at this. An oven mitt so he can safely handle a piping hot meerkat meatloaf. Uh, Timon. <laughs> and look at this, Moomba. An oven timer so he doesn't burn the meerkat meatloaf. <laughs> now, do you see the ugly truth, Pumba? Nope, but I see Simba. Hey! Oh, hurry! Put everything back! Put it back! Timon, I didn't see any free pancake breakfast down by the watering hole. Oh, well, you know, Simba, once the maple syrup runs out, uh, those things are pretty much over. <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were just trying to get rid of me so you could, um, look through my stuff. <laughs> Simba, please. We're your friends. You should trust us. <laughs> I bet he's craving a big bowl of meerkat meatloaf right now with a side of Pomba fries. I bet he's wondering why we're acting so weird. Pumba, when are you gonna realize Simba's the predator? Do I have to prove it with some sort of how to tell if your lion friend is craving meat and might eat you test? The how to tell if your lion friend is craving meat and might eat you test kit. Test number one. Does your lion friend have a nose for meat? <laughs> something? I smell meat. I mean, I don't smell meat. Well, I do. Test number two. Does your lion friend have a preference for meat? And now we just wait for a big pop and see what Simba prefers. See. <laughs> Test number three. Does your lion friend think about meat all the time? All right, Simba. Tell me what you see. A T-bone steak? A turkey leg? Uh, 
I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's clearly Beef Wellington with country gravy and a side of meat. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Timon, what is going on? Come on, what are you guys up to? <laughs> what? Skinny little no meat on my bones, me? <laughs> I'm not up to anything. Hey, big, plump, succulent, juicy pumba. You're not up to anything, are you? Uh, me? Uh, no! Uh, right. <sighs> now then, we just enter the test data into the Cornomatic Cravometer, and it will tell us exactly what Simba craves. Warning! Warning! Predator! Predator! Craves meat! Craves meat! <laughs> I'm out of here! There! What other proof do you need, Pumbaa? Simba craves meat! But, Timon, even if Simba craves meat, there's no way he'd ever eat us. I wouldn't hang around to find out if I were you. You know, that lion is getting hungrier and hungrier for some meerkat meatloaf. That's what I was saying. Or a little warthog ratatouille. What do we do? Don't worry. I will take care of you. I know a place where we'll all be safe. Well, come on, Pumbaa. Let's go. Gee, I don't know, Timon. Well, it's a good thing I do, or we'd end up being eaten alive. Come on! <laughs> Looks like we made a clean getaway. Yes, a very clean getaway. Uh, this is safe? Oh, yes. Safe as a bug in a rug. Speaking of bugs, I'm starved. So am I. Oh, yes, so am I. <laughs> So, what's for lunch? <laughs> I've been trying to get you away from Simba for months. You big, juicy, fat warthog. And you, lean, tender little meerkat. <laughs> this doesn't look good to mount. Well, this would never have happened if you hadn't rescued a carnivorous meat-eating lion, my friend. Can we keep him, Timon? He's so cute and little and all alone. Uh, Eddie, be on our side. You said it, you said it. I am on your side. <laughs> Predator learned his lesson. I hope he's not the only one. What? Oh, I didn't really think you were gonna eat us. Oh, come on, Timon. You wouldn't be lying to a lion now, would you? <laughs> That's a good one, Simba! <laughs> <laughs> you like that, huh? Carnivores! Oh. <laughs>